Yellowstone Emulation Report to Reveal Plans If Volcano Explodes Scientists at the Yellowstone Volcano Observatory will unveil a new eruption response plan based on insights gained from very simple volcano simulations. Yellowstone is one of the most seismically active regions in the U.S. In 2022, nearly 2,500 earthquakes occurred in the Yellowstone region, more than 500 of which occurred in September in the same region. This activity is caused by a vast network of fault lines that lie beneath the national park, linked to a sleeping underground giant, the Yellowstone supervolcano. A supervolcano is a volcano capable of producing an eruption measuring 8 on the Richter scale based on the Volcanic Explosion Index, ejecting more than 240 cubic miles of volcanic material. The exact number of supervolcanoes on Earth remains uncertain, but estimates suggest there are about 20, including Yellowstone, Long Valley in Eastern California, and Lake Taupo in New Zealand. The U.S. Geological Survey estimates that the last major eruption at Yellowstone occurred more than 630 OU years ago. Although the volcano has produced smaller eruptions since then, the most recent being about 70,000 years ago. In the last 2.1 million years, three super eruptions occurred at Yellowstone, occurring every 600,000 to 800,000 years. While it's unlikely the volcano will erupt again anytime soon, no one knows for sure when the sleeping giant will wake up again. In May 2022, members of the Yellowstone Volcano Observatory Consortium gathered at the Mammoth Hot Springs Hotel in National Park for an in-person meeting their first advance since 2018, based on past experience. Like the 2018 eruption of Hawaii's Kilauea volcano, the team presented a hypothetical timeline of geological unrest in the national park to discuss what actions should be taken at each stage of the eruption. Yellowstone presents a wide variety of hazards, including earthquakes and hydrothermal geyser activity, all of which pose a threat and must be studied with different tools. Increased activity at a particular location requires increased data collection at that location, which in turn requires more specialized equipment in a short period of time. Therefore, coordination between the various groups that have access to this technology, as well as logistical support from park staff, will be necessary. Insights gained from this tabletop exercise will be used to update the existing volcano response framework to provide a more holistic plan for responding quickly and effectively to dangerous volcanic activity.